All oh, boys cast news. Top news. Graffiti on Eden. To you, Mike. Thanks, Nigel. I'm here outside Eden High School, where it appears that we have some vandals around. We have graffiti all over the walls. Where is a censored word over there, which we can't show you. Stop showing it. <laughs> and what appears to be a reindeer on the door. Uh, there's not much that can be said about this, other than these vandals need to be caught. I'm here with the principal of Eden High School, Ms. Turner. What was your immediate response uh, when you first found out about the graffiti on the wall? Uh, first, when you initially see it, you're disappointed because you know someone's disrespected the school, but the immediate response that we take is to get it removed um, because it just it looks really bad uh, on the school to have that type of graffiti. So we call the caretakers in, we call people from the district school board to come in and get it removed as quickly as possible. Uh, do you have any clues as to who did it or like the time frame and what happened? Yeah, we take a log of when it happened and sometimes we'll take a picture of what it looks like and then um, we either ask around, sometimes we offer a reward if it's recurring or if it looks like it's one person that's doing it. Okay. Back to you, Nigel. Hopefully that will get cleaned up. Earlier, we hit the halls to find out what you think about Christmas at Eden. Um, I'm kind of excited for Christmas, actually. I wasn't before, but I think I'm actually going to look forward to the snow this year. Hey, Carmen. How do you feel about the winter season? I'm super excited, and I think it's going to be good this year. Yeah, Christmas season at Easy is awesome! I love Christmas! Okay. Um, I really enjoy Advent, the season of hoping for Christ's birth and the, and the Messiah to save us. Um, I really appreciate celebrating Jesus' birthday. I don't really like the way our culture does it uh, with all the consumerism and things like that. So I'm probably different than a lot of people in that I don't really like Christmas the way that it, it is around here. <laughs> um, for me, I like to celebrate Christmas. Still, I give gifts to my family, but they're more gifts for Jesus, so I will do things for different charities or organizations. Um, for example, I've um, given my family loans for Kiva so they can help entrepreneurs around the world uh, to succeed in life, or I've done um, things like I've bought things from Made by Survivors, which is uh, a website where people who are survivors of human trafficking can make different things and learn skills and make money and survive in the world. Uh, so I want to support them. Um, different things like that. So I'm still giving, giving things to my family for Christmas, but it's also blessing others and blessing God. And so that's, yeah, what I really like about Christmas. Thank you. What do you think of the Christmas season? I think it's very cold, it's very cold, you know, there's people out there laying on the street, you know. Um, they, need a, they need a place to stay and it's very hard for them to, you know, to adapt to, adapt to this Christmas season because some of them don't have family, you know. I think Christmas is a gypsy season, so yeah. Thank you. Um, you're welcome. You're welcome. Well, my thoughts on Christmas are that, uh, well, I love Christmas time because uh, it gives me and my family a chance to celebrate, uh, you know, uh, obviously the birth of Christ, which is something very important to me, and also uh, just has. It's great to be with family and friends and celebrate together and have that time away from the regular grind, uh, just to kind of recharge and and uh, have some fun. Thank you. I love Christmas. <laughs> I love Christmas so much. Christmas is my favorite, favorite holiday of the year. And this year we're going away with all our relatives, so it's going to be an exciting uh, time. Uh, we're going to Disney, so that's going to be fun. Well, thank you. I'm here with Philip right now, and he's going to tell us what he thinks of the winter season. Well, I think it's the most joyous time of the year. Huh? Yeah. How the class feel about Christmas? Well, <laughs> I think it would be better to just show you in a song. Ready?
on the sports. Is the Eden Boys volleyball team really the king of the court? I'd say so. Let's go check it out. Thanks, Nadu. I'm here with Elijah Lopez and Reed Markham from the fifth straight Austin tournament winners from Eden High School. How does that make you feel? It makes us feel very proud to be part of a history of the legacy, winning five Austin championships in a row, never to be done in Ontario by another true. team. Very professional. Do you find this year was more difficult, trying to win the fifth instead of the fourth or third? There were definitely challenges, I will say that, but you know, we, over we overcame them. And we did it. Yeah, we had a few setbacks in the beginning but from a couple injuries, but we ended up pulling through and winning the championship. Do you think you'll be able to make it at six in a row next year? <laughs> what do you think? What kind of question is that? Of course, of course we're going to win. I was very confident in Elijah Lopez and Reed Markham. Back to you, Nigel. Very impressive. Now on to Big T with the coin toss weather. As you can see outside, it's not, it's blue skies, very cloudy, and I think it's gonna rain. Hold on, let me check. No, it's not gonna rain. You don't have to wear this today. But it is cold, so wear a jacket. Are you tired of unsanitary conditions? Are you a spermaphobe? Well, now let's Purell. Purell, keeping your world clean. Thank you, Eden. And remember, the news will set you free. Oh, boys, past news. Thank you. Thanks, Nigel. It is very cold outside. It's like 90% chance of it being cold. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I think, I think it's about minus one right now. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe zero degrees. And then, yeah, and also, there's no sun up in the sky. So, that's quite catching. Now on to sports. <laughs>